This week on Sailing Miss Lone Star, we say goodbye to Rick and the crew of Sophisticated Lady. We had so much fun. We learned so much along the way, and we wish you the best of luck on your next voyage. Hello, can you hear us? We've made it to Grenada. Yay, Grenada. Ah! There's so many cruise ships here right now. This is a good sail. How long is a good sail? Seven um, hours. Time to know? I don't know. We set off at 6.28 a.m. And it is now, what time is it, 4? We're excited to go explore this island. We hope you can hear us. It's pretty windy up here. We're on the bow. Um, it was a good sail. Yeah. And then this is our last, uh, our last sail with Rick. We fly from Grenada, so this is it. Take one last look at the old sophisticated lady boat. Shaved? I did feel. You trying to one-up me, bitch? <laughs> a lot of people have asked me how on earth I find my way onto these boats. Well, interesting fact, there's these websites. One called Crew Finder, another Crew Bay. There's even a Facebook site called Sailboat Hitchhikers. And that's just to name a few. If you're looking to buy a boat like me, I suggest getting on as many different vessels as you can before you buy. Crewing is a great opportunity to do this. We sailed into Grenada in the early afternoon, just enough time to check out of customs. And although Rick and I kept talking about it, we never did get the stanchion fixed. Soon, Alice and I will be joining a beautiful catamaran in St. Martin, so I take my last opportunity to enjoy a proper bow. For those of you that love me, know me, and have sailed with me, this is called the obsprit. I don't know why I love that long hunk of lumber off the front of a boat, but I sure do, and it's a requirement for my very own vessel. Truth be told, if money was no object, I was a shipwright, and I was 3% more crazy, I'd want an old wooden schooner. So until any one of those things happen, I'm looking for a fiberglass boat. I'm looking for a blue water boat, one I can take all the way around the world, 36 to 42 feet, something I can single hand. Rick Moore has been sailing likely more years than I've been alive, and I learned so much from him. Rick has sailing down to a fine art, fixing things on the fly and always being ready for what's coming next. I really believe that the biggest learning curve is going to be when I get out there single handing without somebody so knowledgeable to lean on. The ocean is a beautiful but cruel mistress, always changing her mind. The biggest challenge in sailing is reading her mood and adjusting accordingly. But as they say, anything worth doing is never easy. So pack your bag and put on your sneakers. We're definitely going to be jumping over some hurdles. We drop anchor in Prickly Bay. One thing Rick really took a lot of time to teach was how to set a hook. The windlass used to be the scariest thing on Miss Lone Star for me. I was always worried I was going to lose a finger. And honestly, when I finally do lose a finger, it's going to be not from the windlass. It's going to be from some adorable, cuddly animal I didn't realize had sharp teeth. Rick shows me one last time how to tie a clove hitch to create a snubber on the anchor. My 
finding good seamanship. There's nothing worse than listening to your neighbor's boom or main halyard slap against the mast while at anchor. So we tie another clove hitch and secure it to the traveler. This, my friends, is where the mega yachts live. If you're headed to the BVIs, make sure to return all your emails before you get there because internet is video. really hard to find. I have really low standards for internet speed now and I've got 1% in five minutes. Really How long has it been since we had this video done oh and God. ready to upload? We've been uploading this for 72 hours. Literally, forever. I've been like turning it off and on, using the cell phones, using like whatever internet we can scramble for as we're moving around, it's crazy. So we're now in Grenada. We just got here and we just came straight to the bar to upload your video for you. If you didn't know already, Chardonnay lubes the interwebs. Good information for all you sailors out there. After four hours of sitting at this bar, we got 10% of the video uploaded. Then we met the hilarious crew of Odessa. Yachties are a whole different breed of people. And this is where the night begins. I have dressed children before. It's like a floating frat house. Mission successful. We spent two nights in Grenada packing our things and helping Rick clean up the boat for the next crew. Hopefully, I learned my lesson about packing light. I'm wearing the underwear that Sasha gave me. Oh, that's cute. She said they were too small for her. Bye, sophisticated lady. We've got all of our crapitola on the dinghy. It's been real. Thank you so much, Rick. We had such a good time. We learned so much. Got some miles under our belt, and now off to the next adventure. Oh my god. <laughs> Today would be like the one day I'd fall in like fully clad in like boots and jeans and Yeah, these jeans are quite hot. Hot. Sweaty underneath of them. So, uh, BT Dubs, we got a 12 hour uh, layover in Atlanta. Yeah. Airport shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. All of our crap at all. Do you have our passports? Oh. They're no, they're essential. in my desk. Okay, yeah. essential. Need our passports. <laughs> You're stuck there, Brendan. Just <laughs> good luck. Do you think we'll need our passports? Possibly. Mm -hmm. Cute, but not that cute. <laughs> I got a you. So, Rick, tell us a story about how much you're going to miss us. Well, let's <laughs> miss a slice. A slice of warm apple pie? Slice of warm apple pie. <laughs> it's been interesting, I knew it would be. Yeah. Never a dull moment. You would smell good. Everyone knows that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> now that his credibility is shattered. <laughs> oh, Rick, no, no, 
I'll get it. I'll get it. No, I just sewed patches back on that sucker. You know, there's probably carts. Oh, this is it. This is Alice and I's stuff. We're gonna miss you. Liven up the place a bit, I guess. But we are responsible. Sometimes. Charming. Sometimes. <laughs> Say your goodbyes. Bye. All right, girls. It was great to have you on board. We'll see you again, probably. Thanks for coming. Mm. You like us. Hug us till you act, act like you like <laughs> it. Thank you to my patrons for making these videos possible. Next week on Sailing Miss Lone Star, meet the crew of Mahalo. Below decks, Tiffany Copeland, Captain Bruce Bullman, and love our favorite like little German do. backpacker, Katie. Love, love, love me like you do. Love me like you do. Love, love, love me like you do. Oh. Touch me like you do. Okay, it's the last day on Sophisticated Lady. I think we're onto something. <laughs> I think that sounds terrifying. It's happening. Probably not, actually. It's probably not happening. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're leaving <laughs> Sophisticated Lady. And it's our last day. It's kind of sad and happy, but we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready for our own boat. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we could go like detail some boats. We could. Those yachts make like good money on those boats. So they say. Could we get um, treated like shit by rich people for like a couple months? And We're treated shit by poor people, so <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> True. Mm. Let's do it. Let's do it, yes. We could be like... Try everything once, right? Yeah, there's That's actually... <laughs> no, it's twice. You try everything twice. <laughs> Make sure you, you really don't like it. Uh-oh. So, let's recap. What is our trip <laughs> <laughs> Recap what? Our sophisticated lady trip. Oh. So you were here for two months. Two months and I almost, I think I left St. Vincent three times to go to Beckway. Teary goodbyes and like the whole bit, right? I made so many friends in St. Vincent. It was really nice. Same. I went out and made an ass of myself a couple times. You? No. Uh, it was my dance moves. Your wine up is... Like on it's getting point. better. It's on point. Is it? <laughs> You're yeah. such a good friend. <laughs> okay, I had a hard time with the distinction accent a little bit. This poor guy came to the boat and what was he selling? Oh, you no, know, he was like rowing our lines into the mooring ball or something. <laughs> ball. And he was like, hey, beautiful. And I was like, hi. What's your name? What's your name? He goes, Donatin. And she's like, oh, pardon? Donatin. And what? Do Donatin? Rick looks back at her just like, Jonathan. I'm mutilating this sweet guy's name. It was like terrible. I was so mortified that it was like a regular name that I am just retarded. And now everyone we meet is named Jonathan. <laughs> Everybody that I've met, Jonathan. Awesome. I'm like, do you have a nickname other than Any Jonathan? <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to ban me from Snapchat. Seriously, can we do call it now Slapchat? Slapchat. Anytime I catch you doing it, I get to slap you. Yes. <laughs> Yay, witness. Yeah. Don't look at me. Snapchat. Slapchat. <laughs> Don't look at me. Snapchat. <laughs> oh my god. Are we done here? We love you. Bye. Elvis. Oh, did you ever see this trick? I can't do it, not smile. <laughs>